What are you doing with this guy? I'm gonna make it a kind of like a glorified dog hauler. We'll put two kennels between the wheel wells. What kind of dog? I've got two Bernese Mountain Dogs, and then I've got a Belgian Malinois. There's Kenny two. tells me I can't have one though. He there's says it's too much work, and they're not couch dogs. Like they're not. Rip your couch apart <laughs> if you don't do something with her, but full speed these dogs. Full speed all the time. She has no care, no no self concern for her own well being at all. Like Oh no way. It's just so you know, those are one and a half inch uh, ladder steps. So she goes all the way up. You can see her come back down, watch her back legs. She knows right where to put them. She gives you a little tail wag right here, knows she's having a good time. What? Yeah. And Kenny's dog's really poorly trained, and I think you should talk to Kenny about that because I keep Get telling together, him. Kenny. Yeah, yeah. We need better parenting, Kenny. You know, the whole reason we're sort of in this thing is because of the dogs. If it wasn't for the dogs, there there'd be no nomadic cool. Because I just needed American right. for my well, dogs. My wife's always real concerned with leaving them. I've got a forerunner now. Okay. And I've got it. You know, the rear windows drop in those forerunners, and I've got a cool cage built back there so we can leave it open. But yeah. Even leaving the air conditioner on in that thing. It, it doesn't. Above 80, it's just yeah. On a 90 degree day here in a dark van, you don't want to be driving that. Like, it's just, this AC is just not big enough. Like, even though you have this AC and that AC, it's just such a big space that here in the summer, the, the, the van gets to 180. And like, what are you doing at 180? It's just hot. Like if you're driving an hour anyways, like on the highway, it still hasn't cooled down the back of your van. It's just too, it's just too much. What are you uh, picking up? I, I basically reached out, I think I sent an email and just said, hey, I want to set up a car that I can park in the sun mm -hmm. for five hours. I prefer to not rely on any kind of solar or solar power and keep it cool, right? Okay. Let dogs be kenneled in here without any worry of if they're overheating or anything. I was hoping that someone could just say, yeah, we do this all day long. Here's the kit, man. Yeah, Here's yeah, what yeah. you want. Take it yeah. and send it. When we first started, we, we didn't do any electrical. We were getting so many vans in with just the worst electrical systems. Sure. There's no thought into safety. When you're out away from your house and something breaks down, like that's when you like, you feel it. And you're like, man, was it worth the $50 on this component yep. to have these problems? I want to show you these tour rig curtains that I bought too. And I think this is like my front one. So it's like, no, this is Touareg out of Colorado. They've got the reflectives on the back and everything. They just make it, they, they do a great job. They also sell a divider between the two sections, right? So a divider uh, with two zippers where you could roll up the middle one and the, these ones just stay down really does a great job. Is it gonna be able to sit in? 90 degrees for two or three hours? Well, it, so it always depends on, at night, all the air let's conditioners. Assume, let's assume worse things. I'm parked in the sun at 100 mm. degrees. At least enough to keep it like high yeah. 70s. Yeah, so if you if you get to it early, like if you turn the thing on early and mm. it can com combat yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So this is a 2000? So 75 in the shop right now, pretty cool. And then, so it's 62, so this number will, will start dropping. What does this get down to? Uh, when I tested it, it got down to 49. This is on eco right now. On a 75 degree day, it's 90 in a van. So on a, your question is on a 90 degree day, so 90 is 120 in a van. There's just too many factors that come into play with saying like, can you keep it 70 in there? But 70, you're not going from 90 to 70, you're going from 120 to 70, which is a different, a different thing. We had uh, a customer who's really big into like van life, talent size, like one of the biggest van life YouTubers out there. He slept out here, it was 120 at night, 70 degrees, no problem. During the day, a little bit different, but you know, you'll eventually, just like, you'll, you'll be like, okay, here's where our range is comfortable, here's where our time is comfortable, because you know, you may be great for whatever the temperature is, you may be great for two hours, but the third hour you may notice that the heat gain is too much based on the BTUs from the sun being more than the AC. But like you said, it has a lot to do with the insulation that you put yeah. in. So now we're at 53. And so we're in eco mode right now, so we're not pulling very much power. You know, we're probably pulling 30 amps, 35 amps at 12 volts, like not a lot of juice. Right. So a 300 amp hour battery. This, the, this one will do 75 amps on a 100 degree day. 
So that really takes your capacity way down. Sure. So, you know. Oh, what's it at? 30, 38 amps? 38 and a half? Okay. So, I mean, that's a tiny number. Right. You know? And we did, we did, are you getting the, a domatic? Yeah. You're getting a domatic? So we did 100 degree outside with a 100 amp hour battery. What are, what it run for, Kenny? Like two hours or something? Out there in the 100 degree weather. Yeah, it's you know, good. it says I the. Mean, so everyone I've talked to, that, yeah. like let's say old school RVers, mm -hmm. I'm telling them I'm doing this on batteries and they can't hardly no. even believe that it's we, achievable. We right? fight this, <laughs> we fight this tooth and nail. How quiet is that? Compared to a if regular. It's on the roof, I don't think you'd ever. N you're not hearing it. I mean, yeah. you hear a diesel engine running out there. <laughs> you can. If, if yeah. you're on a diesel engine, you'd never hear this. These are brand new. The old 300s were twice the size. So these, these are amazing for how small they are. Do these have, they don't have any onboard BMS, correct? That's they what do not. For? Mm -hmm. Well, they have, see that little black box over there? That's the smart BMS. So internal BMSs are a great idea. The external BMS, they, they can all, everything can break. So like you stick it inside of a battery, the battery. now you got a broken battery with a broken sure. BMS. So the external BMS, although you're, you think it's better to have it inside. So I've had customers, you know, draw these things down to nothing. And then like, it doesn't turn off, right? And so you, you fry a battery because you don't have your wiring correct. This is a uh, remote on off for this. So you can do it from your Servo GX as well. But I like this because this knob turns everything down. So you can turn your, your watts all the way down when you're charging from shore power. So like, let's say you go over to grandma's house and you're running a long extension cord to her house and you're parked in the driveway, okay. right? Well, you don't want to be cranking 30 amps through a long extension cord. Interesting, okay. So you roll the thing down. The other thing is you're not trying to charge it fast. You don't care. For sure. You're there for a long because time. This doesn't have any like <clears throat> modulation on board. It has to be done through- It has to like be done ports into it. Through, through this or through your, your Servo GX right. as well. But this is just like a real, easy way to do sure. it you know because it's I just don't think that was in there, okay this is uh you know it just plugs right on into the thing and then it's like you can you can mount this anywhere inside the coach mm -hmm. that just allows you to be like oh so here's the thing you don't use your inverter very often like you really don't right. inverters when they're running drain juice and then they create heat so i only turn mine on when i'm using it mm -hmm. which is like never because like what am i yeah, what am i Sure. What am I running? I'm running like you could be running an induction cooktop, but that's really it because your phones, your iPads, your computers are all 12 volt, sure, and the you know? Conditioner. Yeah, and the air conditioner. So don't run it very often. You know, turn it on when you need it or when you're doing something, and you could do it through that. This is just like another, a lot of times what people do is they, this stuff is all under everything. Mm -hmm. And then so imagine having to get through sure. everything to click this button. Yeah, yeah. Like, Put this in an easy access spot. that's right so feel this guy right feel that yep. okay it's probably 35 bucks on amazon so you can feel the feel difference the yeah and what a lot of people don't realize is so there's there's just a a, a thing of metal in here right mm -hmm. it's like a plate and so as it heats up it deforms right which is what cracks this but this may say, so this says 100 amps, but you don't know if this company just put the foil from a 30 amper in here. So you don't know if it's the exact number that you're really gonna be getting. And then what happens is like, when you, if you start pumping 100 amps through this thing, it'll get brick hot. It's just super hot. Yeah, and it's just not like 35 bucks. These are super expensive at 75 bucks, but the difference is obvious when you put it in your hand. Like that weighs four times well, as much. Well, how many's on there? Three to five? Yeah. So. so it's that, you know, and these are the little things that can cause uh, fires inside of a system. So you, sure. you add a bunch of these things and a bunch of other things, and then you're like, oh, I didn't. Only as good as the weakest link. In that's, the that's right, you know? And then we go over the top, like we add uh, these terminal fuses onto the batteries themselves. And then so you have terminal, you have breakers in your Lynx distributor, which are only this far away, right? So you're fused here, you're fused here. Why are we fused here? We're fused here in case we drop a, a wrench into here. This is for us, right? Or if you're in a catastrophic accident, right? So the more fuses, like it adds to the cost, but we're, we're double, triple doing it. 
So it's here, it's there with your Lynx distributor, right? And then also with your, your 110 system, right? We're fusing, we're fusing the on off coming into the system, right? And then we're fusing the going out of the system. Mm -hmm. So we're, this is in between the, the system. So that's like shore power in? Shore power in. And this is going out to the house system. And this is going out to the house system. And as we go out to the house system, like you'll see people, I've had, we've had guys that have had like 15 of these for a van. And that you're just happening. looking at it and you're like, man, like. How many circuits you got in here? My van has one plug. Right. Like if you can't get from one side of your van to the other side of the van, keep it simple, right? Cause if you want to change something, you want it to be super easy to change something or to find out where there is a problem. So there's three here, but you're probably not going to need three. I was thinking maybe one or two yeah. in the van, maybe one on the outside. Yeah. And one on the outside is a great idea. Yeah. You know, you may just put it somewhere where the kids on the skateboard aren't going to see it, you know, like yeah, that's, that's the only, you know, that's the only rub there. But other than that, it's a pretty, pretty simple kit here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's fun to just try and like build the system in my yeah. head and then yeah. start seeing the componentry. It's one of those things you can put your hands on it mm -hmm. and then like really just yeah. enjoy the process. I, it will be fun to show people too, right? Like, yeah. I might not know every bit about how everyone, like I certainly don't know how that's monitoring stuff, but it's neat to be able to show people like, yes, the energy is stored here, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. It's dispersed here. Yeah. It's, it, it seems intuitive 